A warm welcome to Executive Talks, a virtual space where executives talk and executives listen. Today, we have come to meet you with an interesting topic, online entrepreneurship. For this, we have invited to a tech entrepreneur. He is none other than Nilan Vijarat. A warm welcome to the show, Nilan. Thank you for having me, Nilanjay. He started his journey back in 2009 as an online freelancer. And we are going to hear his journey from him. So, Nilan, if you recall your memory as an online freelancer, how would you elaborate? Yes, Dharanja. Uh, in fact, uh, I started online freelancing back in 2009. Uh, at that time, uh, there were not uh, many sites where we can uh, work uh, and earn online. So, uh, I came across this site, freelancer.com, uh, where I registered myself as a service provider. Uh, my uh, area was digital marketing. Uh, then uh, I was able to find a uh, few clients uh, from Australia, UK, Scotland, so on and so forth. Then, um, you know, uh, my journey uh, with freelancer.com was a very successful one. Uh, then um, after working in freelancer.com uh, as a service provider for some time, uh, then I thought of starting my own uh, brand, coming up with my own brand rather. Uh, that's how Volver brand came to be. So uh, then uh, what I did was I uh, became uh, became an independent business owner and I registered my business as uh, Volver Digital, uh, which is a digital marketing uh, agency where I helped um, uh, business owners to uh, grow their digital presence. That's how Volver brand came into being. Then. Uh, after that, I co-founded uh, Volvo Apartments, which is a luxury uh, apartment uh, listing platform in Sri Lanka. Uh, then, uh, you know, I did a lot of traveling uh, during that period. Then I became interested in the field of traveling. Then uh, later I thought, um, uh, why not I register a travel company? Then uh, uh, today I have a travel company or travel agency as well. So that's basically what I'm uh, doing right now. Okay, all right. Now, um, so you talk about your all the startups now. Uh, these days, people are looking to start new ventures. They want to skip eight to five uh, struggle. So they want to start a side hustle. So um, what are the benefits of uh, starting an online entrepreneurship or online venture? Well, you are your own boss, right? And uh, so, uh, yeah, as you said, uh, many people, many uh, many people want to start uh, uh, online businesses. But the question is, uh, either they are working full time or whether they um, they don't have correct uh, knowledge and experience and the inspiration to move forward. Uh, so what I would advise is basically uh, you keep your day job and start your side hustle. Do your research and try to understand what is best for you. Try to understand your talents. Uh, and skills and try to uh, come up with a new business idea. So if you have a business idea, there are plenty of tools available online where you can digitize your idea and come up with a new business model. And uh, so that, uh, with that, uh, you also need dedication, perseverance, uh, inspiration from other people uh, to start something. Well, um, uh, always make sure you can do something, uh, always find yourself a time to do proper research and read a uh, lot of blogs, uh, read uh, or watch uh, documentaries about entrepreneurship, uh, uh, read articles, so, so get the knowledge first. Then uh, try to start somewhere. It's always a good idea to uh, talk to a mentor and try to understand, uh, try to identify people who are already successful uh, as well as uh, uh, people who are already running businesses uh, and try to uh, talk to them and get some uh, insights from them and get inspirations and uh, you know uh, do the first uh, uh, stepping stone to the industry. Right now uh, you said we can become our own boss uh, and yes. uh, so, so we can enjoy being our, being our own boss but uh, how do you um, 
explain uh, the monetary benefits or financial benefits of becoming uh, an online entrepreneur if i may ask how can we build can we build a passive income through online entrepreneurship of course uh, if you have the right idea and the right mindset and the best execution of your idea and you will see money start rolling right passive income is such that you earn money while you are asleep right you earn money effortlessly so uh, obviously that is possible because uh, as you know uh, for an example if you take affiliate marketing industry it's uh, more than 12 billion us dollars uh, worth uh, industry in the world and uh, question is uh, whether we have identified the correct uh, pattern or the correct methods to earn money online or earn passive or make a passive income uh so uh what i see is basically uh people don't find these opportunities online because maybe they don't know how to uh, sort of extract the best out of the best online uh maybe they don't have the correct uh, mindset to sort of get in touch with the, those things and uh let's say if you have an idea then you can start your blog or a website uh, then uh, you can basically for example you can uh, have your store and get affiliated with amazon or else you can run your blogs uh, with uh, google adsense and where you can uh, earn a passive income and uh, so those are the opportunities available online right and uh, question is uh, uh, whether you have uh, identified the correct niche for your market right uh, maybe you can uh, think of an idea uh, where you can uh, where where the idea is unique then uh, you can start a blog and you can talk about your idea as a blog and uh, then uh, you can uh, you know basically uh, work along the side of google adsense uh, amazon affiliate then you slowly build up uh, your idea i understand there are a lot of tech in the background but uh, anything is possible because you have the internet you can search these resources uh, and uh, basically uh, you have the world to yourself then um, you can start building something yeah uh, if we go back to your uh, previous online freelancing uh, journey now you might have served many clients from all around the world so if you can recall some of the projects that you have delivered Uh, to get an idea about these online entrepreneurship uh, initiatives yeah in fact uh, majority of these clients were from uh, west part like uh, canada australia uk those country they they are small businessmen in those countries they need certain services at a uh, you know very reasonable rate so that's why the freelancer.com websites there i mean uh, well uh, they are exposed to so many talented freelancers out there so i remember one project uh, where i did this uh, first ever project to a canadian employer uh, who basically wanted a research done or basically a research done on the internet uh, where i delivered the project on time and on budget and he was extremely happy so in similar cases where i uh, served uh, some of the other clients in scotland and uh, in fact uh, they were on holiday in sri lanka we finally sort of uh, met each other and we shared our values uh, shared our experiences so on and so forth so uh, so yeah that's about it i mean uh, basically uh, you can work online uh, you can earn money and uh, finally you can transform your uh, online freelancing journey to a uh, business now there's a misconception uh, when it comes to online entrepreneurship people think that money is in online no nothing like that you have to work you have to provide your service and you can get paid am i correct na that is absolutely correct because many people think that internet is a get rich quick scheme no it's not like that so as you rightfully said you need to sell a product or provide a service then earn money with it so there there are a number of ways where you can do that either you work for a uh, outsourcing website or you start your own uh, website for an example let's say um, let's say you have a uh, product you have a product to sell you have your own product to sell so what you can do is you can create an e-commerce store then you can sell your products worldwide 
uh, or else uh, you know these days you know people talk about drop shipping you know uh, you don't own the product but uh, you sell someone else's product and get the orders and money with it so on and so forth so uh, always uh, you need to make sure that there's a business model there's a, there's a business model for your idea uh, then you can integrate your technical knowledge to sort of transfer transform rather transform uh, that idea to a uh, digital presence like a website or a Facebook page so on and forth. I see many uh, emerging uh, tech companies, uh, emerging freelancers uh, who are having tech startups nowadays and uh, I see on Facebook uh, there are a lot of groups uh, regarding online entrepreneurship, you know, uh, people share their experiences, uh, share their products uh, in various webs, uh, Facebook groups, so on and so forth. It's, it's a very good sign um, we see in Sri Lanka. Uh, so, um, so like what I mentioned, uh, it's always the idea that you transform to a, a digital space. Then you try to work on that uh, uh, website or the Facebook page. Then uh, you know make money with it. So, uh, just like in traditional businesses, uh, in online businesses also you have a workflow to do. You have to look after your finances. You have to plan it properly, you have to execute properly, you have to get surrounded yourself with proper people, uh, responsible people, and also you have to be a marketeer as well, right? If you are not a marketeer, uh, you might not know uh, what other people want. So uh, make sure you know uh, what they want and you know understand their behaviors. And uh, so like that, you can uh, start running your business. But with your introduction, I think a question came to my mind. Now, you said uh, if you are selling a product, maybe you can start your own e-commerce platform. Is that that easy? Well, with the right guidance, it's easy. So most of the people think it's a very big thing. You know, there are a lot of YouTube videos. There are a lot of uh, websites where I teach us free of charge. So I think it's the um, uh, you know, dedication and the time that you want to spend on those videos and tutorials and guidance. Uh, well, if you don't have a mentor, don't worry. Internet is your mentor, right? You can get, uh, you know, educate yourself. And uh, main thing is the execution. You know, many people see uh, videos, but they don't execute. Okay. So how, how, do you, how do you make that happen? Uh, it's the art, actually. So... Uh, I think it's quite straightforward and pretty easy. I mean, you can get a website website up and running less than $50. Right. I think if you have the will, skill doesn't matter. Yeah, right. exactly. Uh, yeah. Uh, with that, Nilan, now, uh, what kind of skills do you require to succeed in online entrepreneurship if you want to run a business virtually? Well, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you need to have marketing skills because otherwise you will uh, end up having your product uh, but if you don't know how to market it now for an example um, uh, you want to tell the world that you have a product right so uh, that's why you have free digital marketing channels are available such as Facebook Instagram uh, you need to get your product onto those channels and you, just, you need to start marketing and uh, also you need to uh, know how Google works for example Let's say um, you have a website, you know, www. Uh, let's say abc. com, but uh, you need to know uh, how to rank in Google for that matter. Then people, when people start searching your product, uh, your site should appear in Google searches as where you will get a lot of visitors, right? You will get visitors, then uh, they will start uh, buying your product and so on and so forth. And um, yeah, so uh, you need to have special marketing talents. Uh, then again, you can learn those tricks uh, and tips uh, online. And uh, also, you also need to uh, be uh, very uh, dedicated uh, for your website. Now, for an example, uh, if you are working full time, but at the same time, you want to uh, start your side hustle, uh, then um, you need to find uh, a time. To work on your idea so you need that's why you need to have the dedication you know many people you know come off their work and you know they go to sleep right <laughs> they not do anything uh, so uh, question is how 
you can find time. Right? You have your weekends. If you are not busy on weekends, you can uh, work on your idea and have a plan, have execution plan, and uh, take it from there. And uh, also, you need to have uh, you need to be a, you need to be a, you need to be a person uh, with a uh, lot of uh, selling skills as well. And you need to know how to serve your customers as well, right? You have your website, but uh, if you are not responding to your you know, uh, live chat or if you're not responding to your Facebook Messenger, uh, you know, you're not going to go uh, anywhere. <laughs> so you're not going to be successful. You have to be a service oriented person as well, right? So uh, in my travel business, uh, I have a lot of good reviews uh, because I'm available 24 seven for my customers who are purchasing air tickets from me and who are going on holidays with our travel company. So I am available. So if you are available for their queries and uh, there you have the service level as well, I mean, the expected service level for them. And uh, so that is very important in, in uh, you know, sadly in Sri Lanka. So we don't, we don't see many companies with a lot of uh, service um, component, um, you know, enhanced. So I would say, you know, we see a lot of gaps, right? You sometimes walk into banks and you see, you know, these, you know, banks or other companies, sometimes you, you see gaps and you're not being served properly, right? But uh, in online business environment, service uh, aspect comes into play heavily and you need to be very, very, you know, sensitive to your customers, then earn your reviews and you will succeed with your reviews uh, as the time pass. Right, I think uh, we got a comprehensive idea about uh, online entrepreneurship. Now I want to ask you uh, if you can mention few avenues that we can start on um, in online entrepreneurship. What are your recommendations? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, I would suggest uh, you come up with a uh, list of ideas. You jot down your ideas on a piece of paper, right? Then try to understand, uh, understand. Try to understand people's problems, right? Uh, for an example, um, obviously uh, in online uh, entrepreneurship, you need to have a digital presence. Either you need to have your Facebook page or you need to have your uh, website, right? So these two avenues, you know, you can capitalize based on these uh, uh, channels. Um, maybe uh, what you can do is, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, either you start with your blog or your e-commerce store, or you start providing your services on online outsourcing sites. Now you have sites like, you know, to mention freelancer.com you have, upwork.com you have, and Fiverr, uh, I think it's very famous, and peoplepower.com, guru.com, there are a number of websites uh, available where small business owners from other countries are looking for service providers from uh, countries like us. Right? There's a huge uh, demand. So that is one avenue. Uh, or else uh, those two avenues like starting a blog and sign up with Google AdSense, you know, you display your Google Ads on your blog, then start making money. Or else you start your uh, e-commerce store with the uh, let's say WordPress, so you integrate your e-commerce store, then start uh, your e-commerce store. So those are the three avenues where you can uh, basically uh, start your online on uh, online business. That is absolutely, I would say free of charge. Right? There is no much cost involved, right? You know, a uh, lot, of, lot of things are, that are available are free of charge. And uh, you know, if you want to subscribe, uh, subscribe to premium services, that option also there. But uh, in my opinion, uh, I think uh, uh, you can start your online business. Uh, you know, maximum fifty dollars, or maybe less than fifty dollars. You can be up and running, guaranteed. So this is not just about starting a YouTube channel or doing some work in Fiverr. Uh, something beyond that. I think that's why you mentioned that marketing skills are very important. So you need to pick the idea and then you need to implement based on that. So uh, if I may ask, how did these ideas come to your mind? Uh, well, uh, I would say um, I was uh, basically, you know, uh, 
thinking about new business ideas and uh, uh, well uh, I normally do jogging and all that right so normally when I'm jogging uh, I always think okay uh, what's my next uh, business uh, would be and what's that brand gonna be and so on and so forth so normally I get all my ideas when I'm at uh, leisure and working out uh, so uh, so I think uh, it's part of your life right then uh, you do your workouts or jogging or daily exercises then you get your blood circulated then you come up with this brand new ideas then uh, luckily I know a little bit about tech you know how ideas can be implemented I think that's uh, one of the major uh, plus points because uh, many people have the ideas but they don't have the tech knowledge to implement uh, so luckily I have um, you know with my previous employments uh, I was working as a trainer for IT industry and so uh, then uh, for me it was very easy uh, to sort of transform those ideas into uh, businesses because uh, I know the middle part middle part uh, which is the tech knowledge uh, so that's I think uh, uh, and if you know the technology it's very easy to explain things to others as well if you want to get things done so uh, which I think uh, uh, is my plus point I'm right. uh, coming up with these brands new ventures and fitness is both of these things are going hand in hand yeah of course uh, because these days you know people don't focus on their uh, you know workouts or exercises uh, they've completely forgotten but if you really look at uh, founders in Silicon Valley uh, workout is part of their journey right so when they come come home after a hard days of work and they do 100 push-ups right so that's the kind of lifestyle they have and um, in our culture I think uh, which is not there but um, you know I've tested it myself and uh, I would say it has to be in your uh, daily routine uh, so that will have a lot of benefits and uh, that will keep you going um, so we are coming to the latter part of the discussion now uh, if I may ask what would be the trends that might come in near future well uh, during COVID situation during COVID times uh, we saw many delivery companies, right? So it's trendy now. So many people want to start delivery companies. And uh, well, I think uh, it, it, you know, the environment should support your business idea as well, right? And uh, it's all about, uh, you know, uh, people's behavior that will ultimately give you businesses, right? You need to understand, uh, uh, you know, their behavior, then start something, you know, you need to analyze what their needs are and so on and so forth. Uh, so I think uh, in the future in Sri Lanka uh, you will see a lot of uh, startups, tech startups, digital uh, marketing startups and so on and so forth and many people want to uh, start their own um, Android apps, Apple uh, iOS apps. Uh, so I think it's going to be fully digital driven economy in Sri Lanka. So uh, that's why you see a lot of co-working spaces in and around Colombo. So uh, you know they want to sort of encourage you know people to come up with ideas come to their co-working spaces and start working and you know there are a lot of uh, events that are happening around and you know so on and so forth so i think it's a very good uh, opportunity for people who want to start their digital journey uh, so all they have to do is you know stick to one uh, idea and try to convert your idea into a, a digital business and uh, start uh, making money and rather start uh, making passive income right so um, today's video was about the bird view of uh, online entrepreneurship if i may correct oh uh, yeah so maybe uh, you know the digital entrepreneurship uh, the entire spectrum cannot be discussed within a very short span of time uh, so uh, i think uh, you know you need to do your you have to do your part and uh, you have to do, as I mentioned, uh, do a lot of uh, research, uh, do a lot of readings, so on and so forth. So I think uh, hopefully someone will inspire you after seeing your interview. Yes. And uh, you know, that's... Maybe we can have another chat. Yeah, yeah. maybe we can uh, meet in the future and mm -hmm. talk about specific things uh, which I mentioned. Yeah. 
just like I told you before, this is not just about starting a YouTube channel or doing some work in Fiverr. It's something beyond that. Uh, first thing is you need to identify a need or niche in the market and after that you will be able to provide a service or introduce a product for them. So thank you very much Nilan for enlightening us on these facts. My pleasure Dhananjay. Thank you so much for inviting me to this discussion. Great. Looking forward to meet you with another episode of Executive Talks. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you very much.